this video, I'm going to discuss how to create a tactical decision game. And a good place to start is to discuss what a tactical decision game is. Uh, in the military, a TDG is a low resolution war game. It's a simulation of a hypothetical or historical scenario. And for at least 30 years, TDGs have been used in the military and more specifically by the Marine Corps. They're also useful in sports, business, medical, first responders, aviation, basically any environment where time pressure, high stakes, and uncertain or dynamic conditions are common. And the main benefit to using a TDG is to help exercise decision-making skills, to help build expertise. Now, to create a TDG is pretty straightforward. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you're going to develop a situation or problem scenario. And off to the right, we have an actual TDG produced by John Schmidt and published in his book, Mastering Tactics Workbook. The situation, as you can see, is outlined in just a few paragraphs. It, it includes the who, what, when, where, and why of what's going on. And then in addition, you want to provide supporting materials. These are anything that might help support the decisions that the players will make. And in this case, it's a basically a map of the terrain and the positions of the units and where the enemy unit might possibly be. Uh, last, you're going to want to include certain requirements so that the players know what is expected of them. And in this case, it's a time limit along with some solution guidelines, which uh, limits the players to five minutes in order to draft an order describe their actions, and include an overlay sketch. So the bottom line is you're going to want to produce a situation, provide materials, and requirements. The rules for playing a TDG are also fairly straightforward. In the first rule, you want to enforce the time limit, so the solution must be delivered within a certain amount of time. Uh, second, make sure that the players deliver the solution following the guidelines or the requirements provided. And then the last rule, that the player should accept the situation as is. Uh, instead of criticizing and saying, well, this would never happen, or uh, this isn't realistic, you have to solve the problem as presented. And this is solving versus critiquing. While there are a number of different ways to play a TDG, group play is the most common. And this is where one person moderates and or hosts the game. Uh, a lot of times it might be the person that actually created the TDG. And what players do is they review the situation and then they adopt a leadership perspective and communicate their immediate actions. So for instance, if I was playing Ambush at Dusk, uh, my orders would be to move the machine gun team up to take the high ground and provide some fire down uh, on the enemy position in order to kind of free up or unpin the other units. As players provide their solutions, this is going to generate discussion. And the role of the moderator is to prompt each player to provide feedback. Uh, now, this is not time driven uh, and it allows players to discuss their thought process and basically explain their actions. And there's also a lot of opportunity here to ask what if questions, and this can be used to provoke additional discussion. And then ultimately, the discussion, the discussion points can be consolidated, which allows for solitaire play. And this is exactly what happened with Ambush at Dusk, where John Schmidt took all of the feedback and was able to then convert that into a, a monthly article uh, that was published for over 20 years, uh, encouraging readers to submit solutions. And that's basically all there is to creating and playing a TDG. Now, before you go, check in the description. There are some additional resources along with a free PDF of the Mastering Tactics Workbook. Last, I want to give special credit to John Schmidt and thank him for his feedback on this video.